but we have other vaginal discharge colors that you could notice and are like, what the hell is this? As I was making this video, I really wanted to show you guys the different vaginal discharge colors that we could have. And I had to do some magic to come up with these colors. For some, I had to use your favorite foods. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, guys. Hello guys, my name is Dr. Raisha and this is the Fertility Series by Dr. Raisha. In this video, I will be answering the questions, why do you get vaginal discharge? What amount of discharge is normal? Types of vaginal discharge and when you should see a doctor. Why do you get vaginal discharge? I get many of you telling me, I have treated this discharge for so long. I have discharge every day. I have a lot of discharge. What you do not know is that vaginal discharge is completely normal. Inside the vagina, we have vaginal fluid, mucus from the cervix, dead vaginal cells, healthy bacteria called lactobacilli. A mixture of all these is what we call vaginal discharge. And the vaginal discharge gives the vagina an acidic pH, which makes it difficult for harmful bacteria to live inside the vagina. So vaginal discharge is actually protective. What amount of vaginal discharge is normal? For a woman who is premenopausal, it is normal to have approximately 2 to 5 ml of discharge. Now, before you come for me asking me how am I supposed to measure, I got you. Let me show you. For this, I am using water and a syringe. First, I am going to draw 1 ml of water and put it on a panty liner. And as you can see, this is how it looks like on a panty liner. Next, I'm going to draw 4 ml of water and put it on a panty liner. And as you can see, this is how 4 ml looks like on a panty liner. Different women have different amounts of vaginal discharge. And if yours is anywhere in between 1 ml to 5 ml, as we have seen on this panty liner, then this is completely normal. The types of vaginal discharge. Let us start by looking at white discharge. In most cases, white discharge is normal. The vaginal discharge varies in consistency throughout the menstrual cycle. And we're going to look at the different consistencies that we have. Immediately after menstruation, there is a short period of dryness. During this time, there is no discharge. Then you start having a vaginal discharge that is thick and viscous. Estrogen levels now start rising and the discharge becomes clear, slippery and mucus-like much like uncooked egg white that can be stretched into a string between two fingers. This usually marks ovulation and we call it the fertile mucus. After ovulation, the progesterone levels start rising and the mucus become thicker and sticky. It is generally white in color, but can be cream colored or yellow. This discharge will persist until shortly before menstruation begins. But we have other vaginal discharge colors that you could notice and are like, what the hell is this? As I was making this video, I really wanted to show you guys the different vaginal discharge colors that we could have. And I had to do some magic to come up with these colors. For some, I had to use your favorite foods. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, guys. But I'm not going to tell you which food so that you do not lose your appetite. Join me in my kitchen. Let us start by the yellow-green discharge. This is not normal. The yellow-green discharge is caused by a condition called trichomoniasis. Trichomoniasis is caused by a little guy called trichomonas vaginalis. And every time I hear of this guy, I want to think there was sex and then a sexually transmitted infection. Actually, trichomoniasis is one of the most common STIs worldwide, just that a lot of women with this T vaginalis are asymptomatic, meaning they have no symptoms. And this makes it very easy for it to be spread from one woman to a man, from that man to another woman. Repeat, repeat, repeat. But not to scare you, my dear, it is easily treated. Another infection that can cause this yellow-green discharge is gonorrhea or chlamydia. Let us look at the white cheesy discharge. You see this? It looks like cottage cheese or milk card, right? This indicates a yeast infection and in most cases it is accompanied by itchiness on the vulva, pain during sexual intercourse, pain during urination, cracks in the vagina or irritation. 
Let us look at gray vaginal discharge. This indicates an infection called bacterial vaginosis. And most of the times, it is accompanied by a vaginal odor. Most cases, a fishy odor. I believe you've heard people talking about a fishy odor from the vagina. Yes, it could be as a result of bacterial vaginosis. It could also be accompanied by other signs such as pain during sexual intercourse, pain during urination, and irritation on the vulva. Let us look at pink discharge. Pink vaginal discharge could indicate the beginning of your periods. It's like a way of saying, yo, guess who's here? Me. Pink vaginal discharge could also indicate spotting, which can occur during ovulation, when you are using contraceptives, or during sexual intercourse, when there was a lot of friction that caused irritation and bruising to the vagina. Pink vaginal discharge could also indicate that you are pregnant and if you see it during the early days of your pregnancy, you should not panic because this is something we call implantation bleeding. After the egg meets the sperm, fertilization occurs and the blastocyst implants into the uterine wall. Now, as it is implanting, it burrows itself into the uterus and slight bleeding could occur, leading to a pink bloody discharge. We also have brown discharge. As blood gets old, it turns from red to brown. Brown vaginal discharge could indicate the end of your period. It could also be seen during late pregnancy as a mixture of blood and mucus. We call this the bloody shoe. There is usually a blood-tinged mucus plaque at the cervix. And when a woman is about to give birth, it comes out. Then now you will see some brownish discharge on your panties. When should you see a doctor? Vaginal discharge is completely normal. And we have said that light yellow discharge with no symptoms accompanying it is normal. But if you notice significant color changes and significant symptoms like irritation, itching, a very bad vaginal odor, pain during urination, pain during sexual intercourse, it is time to book an appointment with your doctor. If you want to learn the feminine hygiene tips and the step-by-step -step process on how to wash your vagina and vulva, then watch this video to learn how to keep your coochie healthy. <laughs> Should we call it that? Coochie. Mm.